Hello, everybody! Today we're going to be talking about the Mario Kart items. Um, we have at least 70 uh, items. Currently, it is September 16th, 2023. Last time we recorded a video of Mario Kart Tearless was in fucking July. That's nice. Yeah, that's not... That's not good. <laughs> yeah, so, me and Mario are back. We're going to be talking about more fucking items, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna keep on hearing us uh, two fucking imbeciles uh, blabbering about the rest of the items in this goddamn long ass tier list. So, firstly, we're gonna be talking about the black shell. It's a shell that fucking explodes. Uh, so does it have like the properties of a red shell and a bomb then? No, it has the properties of a green shell. In a, in a bomb. Its effects are similar. Why? And its effects are similar to a spiny shell. What? That sucks. I would put it like maybe low B tier. But no, I want to put it like one spot higher than the green shell. Because at least with like. Well, no, one spot lower than the green shell. Because like if you're holding this behind you, you're probably going to blow up. Yeah, you just have to like release it like a bit early. Oh, yeah, that's like, yeah, so I'm putting- I think putting it right behind the green shell is a perfect spot for it. Yeah, it's basically a green shell but with steroids, but, you know, it just sucks. Alright, now we got the firecracker. When used, the firecracker will drop behind the racer's cart, much like a banana. Upon running into them, drop firecracker, a rival cart will lose speed, as each firecracker consists of five balls. A single firecracker can hit up to five times. This sounds good. Yeah, that does sound really good. Kind of like OP. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We haven't played the Mario Kart arcade game, so... We're just putting them in the places we feel. I'm kind of putting this above Lucky yeah. 7 behind the Super Mushroom. Because there's no way this goes in front of the Super Mushroom. What tier will that be in? A tier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Fire yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. God, I, I feel weird seeing the, the fucking oil tank. Oil tank? Yeah, that's an item. But anyways, we get the smoke screen next. The smoke screen is an item found in the Mario Kart Arcade series. If the player uses it, the player will throw this item backwards as the item starts to make smoke around the lane of the course. If a player gets in the smoke that came from the item, the player temporarily gets blind. It works similarly to the blooper, but it doesn't affect everyone, though. So it only affects the people behind you. So, blooper... So, yeah, blooper, but even more bad. <laughs> yeah, put it behind the blooper. <laughs> put it... Yeah, put that shit behind the blooper. Nobody wants this. This is a horrific item to see. I don't want to see this horrid item ever again. Alright, next we got the shield. That sounds good. A shield is an item found in the Mario Kart Arcade series. Once the player obtains one through an item box, the shield is displayed as an item. If the player chooses to use it, they will be protected from the other player's items for a limited time. It doesn't say how long, though. So, so, what I'm hearing is basically a nerf version of Peach and Daisy's special item and from Double Dash. I put it behind me. I put it behind the, uh, the heart. I think that's a fine place to put it, right? Yeah. It, yeah. It's basically it's does the same thing, except you know you don't have it for like permanently, or like until it gets hit, you just kind of like lose it. Yeah, Mario Kart so arcade. Mario Kart arcade nerds are just probably screaming at us like the the firecracker is the worst item in the game, and the mushroom cannon is the best. What are you doing? <laughs> We're going off of the description of these items, not necessarily anything else. I mean, I don't know what they expect. Uh, the tier list will be bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, this, we have the fucking super. We have the red shells and S tier. So. You know. Uh, there's a wasp. Cool. Anyways, we have the reflector. No, no, no. The reflector? 
the Reflect Shield. Upon being used, the Reflect Shield will surround the racer's cart with a silver shield. Any item that hits this shield will be reflected back at the racer who used it. And then if they use a battering item, such as the Thunder Stick, the racer who used the battering item will take damage. But other players cannot pick up items. This is actually a really good item. Yeah, that, that, that's really good. Yeah, that's a really good item. Do you... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I noticed you joined. Do you even know what the item is, Thomas? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, the item is the Reflect Shield. Upon being card. used, the Reflect Shield will surround the racer's cart with a silver shield. Any item that hit the shield will be reflected back at the racer who used them. If a Reflect Shield user is attacked with a battering item, such as the Thunder Stick, the racer who used the battering item will take damage. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's... Um, don't mind what I'm playing. What are you playing? What do you mean by that? You can see it on, on Discord. I'm scared. Please don't tell me you're playing like hentai rules. Uh, yeah, I'd rather, not, I'd rather not look anymore. What's he playing? Oh my god, he's horrifying. He's playing Overwatch 2. What? The people who make what the, the porn work for. And then the actual developers. I'm done with putting this reflect shield. Do we want to put? Where do we want to put the reflect shield? Because it sounds like a really good item. I'd say it's better than the red shell. The triple red. Uh, what would the red shell be? Oh, the triple red shell for an S tier. I, I I think the the reflect shield should be like around S tier. It's just basically a um a really good defense option. Yeah, Esther's good for it. I think the Lightning is slightly better. No, no, no. Lightning should be better. L- lightning, I think, would be worse than the Reflect Shield, because it gets reflected back onto them. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's- yeah. this item is actually fucking stupid. It goes- I'm saying it goes behind the Bullet Bill, only because you don't get a speed boost from it, and it- it's nothing drastic. It's a good item to keep on it's hand. It's just an item to, you know, just to defend yourself, and that's practically it. Yeah, I hope the shield and reflect shield will come back in the next Mario Kart game, because these sound really good. It'd be funny if it's just, like, the worst fucking item known to man. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, it could happen. Well, they have an item called the Absorbing Mushroom, so we should be scared. <laughs> When a racer the uses the absorbing mushroom, a vortex appears around the racer for a short period of time. <laughs> While this vortex is active, any projectile item that hit the racer will be stolen and placed in the racer's hand. The racer cannot pick up items from the item box from the vortex. That actually just sounds like the heart, <laughs> but you know, you can't take damage from it. Actually, wait, that's good. Because if going off of what it said, that means it takes lightning too. Yeah. This actually is a stupid item. Going by off of what it said, I'm, I would put it behind the triple reds. Yeah. Yeah, that's a stupid... We already got two S tiers back into bag. That's really good. I'm happy about that. Oh my god, I think we have the blue mushroom next. We have, no, we just have an item called the giant mushroom. <laughs> Oh wait, no, never mind. That's just the mega mushroom. Uh invisible mushroom, I think this is what the item is. What the I assume it makes you invisible. It makes you invisible for approximately I seven seconds. So. Oh, it can't be they can be hit still. I put this behind Boo. Mainly just because you can't steal an item that's from it and you can dumb. still get hit. That's dumb as hell. And the boo lasts for what? Twelve seconds? It lasts for a good amount of time. It lasts longer than the uh, the invisible mushroom, so I put the invisible mushroom behind the boo. I think that's a good spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, we know you're here. What's up? We're about to cover the slimy mushroom. Uh. Download Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah. That's 
it's going to take all day. <laughs> well, that was it up to your own time, then. Well, listen, it took me all day to download Sonic Frontiers, and that's, well, that's like 30 gig, but Left 4 Dead 2 is 14, and that's going to take a long time. Hmm. Your internet is going to be screaming all day. <laughs> Alright, anyways, upon being used, the slimy mushroom would cause the base- I'm only gonna finish downloading Left 4 Dead, though. Wait, Left 4 Dead 1? Yeah. Okay, it's- You told me to download Left 4 Dead 1, not Left 4 Dead 2. Well, no, you did tell me to do both. Yeah, I told you to do Half-Life 2, and then if you can, uh... Half-Life 1 Source. I did do Half-Life 1 Source. I'm just downloading some extra stuff that I think may be useful. Oh yeah, you should probably download Half-Life 2 Lost Coast as well. It's less than a gig. Like, much All less right. than a gig. It's, should Left 4 Dead is at 98%, so I'll download Lost Coast after this is done. Okay, cool. Um, anyways, let's- here, stay here for this item. I, I want to see how you would rank this item. Upon being used, the slimy mushroom will cause the racers to cart to turn into yellow slime. In this state, the racer can pass through rivals as if they weren't there. This is helpful to prevent coin loss in tightly packed areas on the racetrack, as a slimy mushroom user will not lose coins from touching rival carts. What? What is this item? Wait, again? Upon being used, the slimy mushroom will cause the racer's cart to turn into yellow slime. In this state, the racer can pass through rivals as if they weren't there. This is helpful to prevent coin loss in, tight fo in tightly packed areas on the racetrack, as a slimy mushroom user will not- What item is this? Oh, it's the slimy mushroom. Mm. Yeah, what game is it? Mario Kart Arcade. Mario Kart Arcade GP. Yeah, I would put this maybe behind the Invisible Mushroom. It doesn't sound awfully good. I, yeah, I think that's a good spot for it. Near the Boo, behind the Invisible Mushroom. I think that's good. Alright, I downloaded Lost Coast. That was quick. Is there any another? Do you want me to download Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2? I think those are like seven gigs as well, like each. Do you um, want me to do that? Or do you want me to download them? Do you have Portal One? I don't oh. have that downloaded yet. Okay, download Portal One. <laughs> and then I'll download Portal Two because I think we could play that together and that'd be fun. Yeah, that I think is fourteen gigs. Should be the same amount as Left 4 Dead Two. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. I'm not good. Yeah, I'm gonna do... let that download overnight. Yeah, okay, do Portal 1, because that's about 7 gigs, I think. Alright, next we're covering the Heavy no, Mushroom. Oh, that's actually much less, okay. The Heavy Mushroom? Upon being used, the Heavy Mushroom turns the driver metallic, resembling the effect of a metal box, as well as turn it the cart monochromatic. In this state, the user is so heavy that they knock over any rival cart they touch, bringing the rival to, the s or to a full stop. The effects of a heavy mushroom wear off after approximately 5 seconds. This item sounds maybe like a high B tier. Actually, no, high A tier. This sounds really good. It sounds like a mega mushroom, but better. It sounds like a much better mega mushroom, but only lasts for like half the time. I wouldn't put it where... Really I don't think it flattens them, I think it just knocks them away. No, I just think it just, like, stops them. Like, let's say, you know, you get hit with a red red shell, right? You know how your cart flips over and then you're, like, stunned for a little bit? I think that's what it does. Oh, so it's, it's a worse star than it. Yeah, so I put it in, like, high A tier. I definitely put it behind triple mushrooms, that's for sure. It's nowhere near better than the mu triple mushrooms. I'd say it's better than the normal mushroom, not as good as the red shell. I single mushroom. Single mushrooms are broken. Yeah, yeah you have single a point. Single mushrooms are absolutely broken as well. You have a point. They're all broken. You have a point. Yeah, I'll put it behind. I'll put the heavy mushroom but behind the I genuinely the think mushroom. that the um, golden mushroom is so situational that it's behind the triple. 
I I think we put yeah we put the golden dash mushroom as the best item in A tier. Well, and then and then we have the top one is in like first. Okay, yeah, you're gonna get some distance, but and also you can. The problem is in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where it's it's probably the least useful in that game. I will say. Well, 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 for the items that we're covering, we're covering them all on, like, every game. Mainly Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but if the item, yes. let's say Mega Mushroom, doesn't appear in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we'll try and cover it in its most recent appearance, but we also take the other games into account. So, like, the green shell, for in, or the coin, for instance, only appears in two games, Mario Kart, or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Super Mario Kart. So we take all the games into account. Oh yeah, and Mario Kart 4. Right now, the golden mushroom is not very good because you can't get one in first where it would be the most useful. So yeah. I think by far, they are the most useful in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, um, next we have the car horn. It's an item found in Mario Kart Arcade G GP series. The player can use the car horn to emit one or two shockwaves from the cart, briefly spinning out racers with the radius. It is similar to the super horn. However, the super horn is also able to destroy items. Okay. So, it's basically a worse super horn. <laughs> That's literally all this item is. So Where did you put the super horn? We put the super horn... Uh, I have to find it. There's so many items. We put the super horn in B tier. Okay, that's a okay. very... I really disagree with that. I think it's high A, low S. It, it can get rid of red shit, uh, blue shells. Like... Yes, but like blue shells are quite uncommon. Like one of the you're best. Really you barely get it. Like the the percentage of getting a yes, but yeah. we're not talking about how common they are. We're talking yes, about but like for the super horn, you know, in a s instance where you need it, it's gonna be hard to get one unless if you're you have got to your luck. Cause it's, actually, I think it's the rarest item in Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Yeah, they do have a less than a 1%. The tier list is about each item and their usefulness. If an item is so hard to get that it's completely situational, well, yes, every item is situational, but this one specifically... But it's useful. It's very it's useful. useful. Don't get me wrong. It's useful, but there's items that succeed it way more than where it would be in A tier or S tier. mushrooms are better. Yes, but like I would also say the spiny shell is better because that's way I more common. I think it belongs in A tier though. S tier is maybe a little much, but I think it belongs. Hey, that's wait. I think A tier is a little much because, like, there's items that succeed it way more. We, in the same tier with the super horn, we have triple green shells, Yoshi egg, uh, Peach and Daisy heart, Bubble, Bowser shell, Giga Baba. We have all these great items with it. It's not. The B tier doesn't mean that it's completely shit. It just means that there's items that succeed it way more, and they go into the B tier. They're average compared to the other items, such as the Superstar, Bullet Bill, Golden Dash. What items do you have in A tier? Because I think it is genuinely better than a single one. Uh, well, we have the Chain Chomp. Uh, we have the Banana Bunch and uh, the Triple Banana. Uh, banana Bunch and Triple yes. Banana. Triple banana, no. I'm going to disagree with triple banana. Well, in the case of, like, banana bunch... I'm sure it's a lot. It's five bananas that trail behind banana you. Banana bunch, you can just screw up anybody behind you. Oh, yeah, and you have a good um, distance. Also, something uh, me and Jorge never took into account is the distance. Because, like, the bananas go out behind you for a long distance. There's The distance of the banana bunch is two other racers directly behind you. They're just a, they're actually not directly behind you. There's like a little space in between each gap. So I do think that that deserves to be in a low A tier, but we have the triple banana up there as well, because that's still good. Either way, it can block green, red shells, etc., all of that. But it's a low B tier. But in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they spin around you, and it's a lot worse. Yes. But it's still good in that game. It is ranked as a highly rated item. So, I think that's good. Continuing on with the items, we have the red shell, the spiny shell, golden dash. Go. Oh. I'm just going to go back into the video making channel 
Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Anyways, continuing on. Uh, I'm gonna go back and adjust. Alright, anyways, continuing on with after that argument. <laughs> I don't know if I'll cut that. Oh yeah, did we discuss Carhorn? Yeah, yeah we discussed Carhorn. Except yeah, Pablo. Just... Okay, so anyways. We're almost done with the normal items. <sighs> okay, we have the high beam. Upon being used, the high beam attaches itself to the front of the user's cart and projects a blinding light for a short period of time. Any rivals who get caught in the light will lose speed and become blind briefly as their view turns com completely white. Oh, so it just completely blinds you. High D tier. So, like, high D High D tier. Best item in D tier. That's where I'm- that's my stance on it. Alright then. Yeah. Cause like, you can still race. It's not impossible. It's just more annoying. You know? Yeah. Alright, then we get the magic hand. <laughs> I'm so congested from being sick. Upon being used, the magic hand will hover in front of the user's cart. If the user comes to close to a rival who is holding the item, the magic hand will reach out and steal that item. This seems like a B tier item. So basically, this is basically worth two. I'd actually say it's a good. Pro I'd say it's a worse piranha. It's a combination of a piranha plant and a boo. For that reason alone, I think putting it behind the Piranha Plant makes sense. Because with the Piranha Plant, you can get... Actually, no, I'd say it's better than the Pea Plant, because you get to stun them. I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, we have Dr. Mario items now. Oh, that's wonderful. We have the Dizziness Virus. The Disney's virus is a lockdown item, okay, that's good, which takes the form of a chill virus from the Dr. Mario series. Upon a successful hit, the Disney's virus will cause the affected racer, racer's view to blur and leave behind after images. This makes it very difficult for the racer to see where they are going and take turns properly. The Disney's virus can be passed to another racer by bumping into them, removing it from the first racer in the process. Racing effects, or should I just cut myself? Racers affected by a dizziness virus are indicated by a spiral effect, as well as the virus itself floating above their head. After a set period of time, the dizziness virus disappears. And CPU racers will lose speed. Huh? This is giving me thundercloud vibes. Yes, but it never says it can get passed back to you. For that reason alone, I say it's actually better than the other uh, high beam. I would put it as a top B tier item. Actually, no, 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 that's too high for it. Ab above the Super Leaf. Behind the Lightning Rod. I don't remember what the Lightning Rod did, I just know it swings. It's like a battering item, according to, uh, the Reflect Shield. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'm scared for the next one, we got another virus. We got the Wheel Virus. The wheel virus is a lock on item. Okay, cool. The wheel virus shoots directly forward, and upon a successful hit, the wheel virus will float around or float above the targeted racer's head and periodically turn the racer's steering wheel back and forth. Ooh. And uh, it has the same effect as the last one. That's actually good. The Disney's virus, yeah, sure, you can't see. Yeah, that's a terrifying item. It's the dizziness virus, but leagues better. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm gonna say that's the that's not as good as the toxic banana cannon, but it's better than the banana cannon. I put it in the top B tier because that sounds like a really good item. You fine with that? Yeah. Yeah. Also, we've been recording for 24 minutes. Wow. Alright, now we're getting to triple items. Just basic triple items. So, that's really not Triple green shells, we don't care about that because we already ranked it. Triple basin. The tub, 
Okay, the item is based on the common jacket. Okay, cool. When they when used, they lock onto an opponent and whack them in the head. Although the tub is a basic item, it flattens the opponents like a thwomp, stopping the targeted player and allowing other players to pass by. Tubs can come in singles or triples. Okay, cool. Um, where did we put this item? <laughs> That's a top tier item, actually. The base can be ranked really high. So we... Oh my god, wait, this is... Uh, it's called the Triple Basin. Uh, well, the basic kind of gives me, like, like, um, Mega Mushroom vibes, but instead of, like, running over the opponent, you just kind of, like, you know... So, they're auto lock hang on, Jorge, they're auto-lock items. That flatten opponents. Oh, they're auto -lock. Oh, okay, then that, that changes it even more. Yeah, that- I said that goes higher than triple red shells, because you have three of them, and you could just flatten your opponents, and they auto-lock. Who let this buy? <laughs> I, I'm actually, I don't know. I'd rank this literally one spot higher than the triple red shells, but behind the white. Actually, no. Fuck that. Beh above the lightning. Uh, behind the reflect shield, uh, above lightning. I think that's a good spot for it because they flatten opponents. That's a god tier. Do they make them lose the items? That I don't know. Well, you see, if they do keep their items, that kind of sucks. It does kind of suck, but see, here's the thing, right? Triple basic, you have three of them, and I think you can put them behind you, too. So, mm -hmm. like, red shells don't do that, yet we rank them in S tier, so triple basins definitely deserve the same thing, because they are literally red shells, but better. So, actually, you know what? No, All right, then. behind lightning in front of triple reds. I think that's a fair place to put it, right? Yeah. Oh my God! Now we have the triple boo. I wonder what this item does. Wonderful. <laughs> Why is this an item? Oh, it has absolutely no information on it. So from the name, we're gonna assume that it's just three boos. <laughs> that sounds like shit. That sounds miserable. I don't. Here's my thing with it. I don't think you can turn invisible with them. I think it's only you get to steal like three items. And if that's the case, then I'm ranking it behind the boo. Hear me out for a second. The trip a boo turns you invisible for at least ten seconds and steals an item from an opponent. If there's no item, you get a super mushroom. That's good, right? That's why we ranked it in and high B tier, but triple boos from my, from what I'm saying here, because there's no information on the triple boos whatsoever. The triple boos, I assume, don't make you invisible, and they can only steal one item at a, that you can only steal one item. It's just that, or three items in one. So that, that, that sounds miserable, because you only have one item slot. So that means you have to keep using the boos over and over again, and to get to get different items, which, that doesn't sound that good. So for that reason alone, it, it's still a boo at heart, it's just one that doesn't turn you invisible. And you get to see which items you have. Yeah, so I put that literally one tile behind the boo. Imagine having an item, there's three of them, yet the three version of the item sucks more than the normal version. That's funny to me. Anyways. Oh my god, now we have the triple tires. Do these just flatten you? Also, we've been here for 29 minutes. Wow, okay. Triple square. Okay, I'm gonna need to figure out what the square tire does. Okay, the square tire is an item in Mario Kart Arcade GP. As the name implies, it makes an opponent's tires square, making the wheels harder to control. Oh, it lasts for 20 seconds? That's so long. I say this is good, because you get to throw it three times at three different people. And we ranked the, uh, these items in B tier. We ranked the square tire in B tier. So we can't go lower, because it is legitimately... I'm gonna be honest with you, 
I'm going to completely make a dumb decision. I'm saying they're better than Golden Dash. Hear me out. Uh -huh. Hear me out for a second. You can flatten the tires of opponents for three or for 20 seconds. 20 seconds! Making them slower. So that means you can outspeed them. And make them hard, make it harder to drive for them. So they're most likely going to crash. For three different people. Or for the same person. If you want to be a dick, that's a full minute of flat tires. That's really good. And with the spiny shield, that only affects first place. This is also an auto lock as well. So did I make did I make my point? Does it go into that as the best uh, item in AQ? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> that that was that's a really good item. Holy shit. Alright, triple needle. A needle bomb is an offensive is an offensive item in Mario Kart Arcade. Okay. The needle bomb is not a bomb, but a red fish resembling the pork popper. When fired, it travels to its opponents when it's honed correctly. It latches onto the opponent and pops two of the opponent's tires on the right side of the cart. The initial strike causes the cart to stop for a brief moment, and once the tires are popped, the opponent loses both control and speed. That's wow. really good. Alright, so... If we have three of these, also the PNG is horrible. We rank this as the fifth best item in A tier. It's gotta be higher than that. Where do we rank the triple... Um, I don't remember the name. Triple Needle Ball. I actually rank it just like I'd rank it like right above the needle bomb because it is good, but like, eh, they also, they're like thrown as like a shell, but like once they're thrown out, you know, like a green shell, right? You have to aim them like a green shell, but like once they come out, they just stay there on the ground. Um, yeah, just rank it above uh, the needle bomb. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh my god, and then we got the triple paintbrush, or whatever this item was called, I'm scared. Triple pen. <laughs> you gotta figure out what the mustache pen does. The magic paintbrush appears as an item, though it is known as the mustache pen. It is a lock-on item, much like the tub. Upon being hit by a- Oh. And he left, okay. Well, I'm good. Uh, yeah, there, there you are, back. Upon being hit by a mustache pen, a racer will lose speed, and the portrait will be obscured by silly graffiti such as a mustache or lips. A variant of the mustache pen known as the triple pen exists that allows the player to shoot with green mushroom pen, a mustache pen, in succession. In success, fuck, succession. They do not lock up. Okay, so they lose speed. Where did we rank the mustache pen? Oh my god, we ranked it in D tier. This sounds funny. Let's put it just literally one tile above the mustache pen. I think that's a good spot for the triple mustache pen. This is so dumb. It slows you down. Yeah. But like, I, from my mind, from my point of view, I think it slows you down very little, right? And you can use all three to slow them down to the maximum capacity, which is why it is much better than the mustache pen. But you can also slow down three different people. Or slow down one person twice, and yeah. another person once. For that reason alone, I think it's fine. Alright, next we got the Triple Tornado. Tornadoes are used as an offensive item. When used, it is fired in a straight line. 
similar to the green shell and other straight shot items, and stops when it touches a wall. Any carts caught in the path of the tornado are lifted off the ground for a few seconds, or for a second before falling, slowing them down temporarily. Where did we rank the tornado before? The tornado we ranked in C tier. You do this three times? I'm saying that's better than the green shell. Because, see, here's the thing, right? The normal green shell, you can knock somebody down once for, like, a few seconds. But you can knock down multiple people in a straight line. Which you can't... If I remember correctly, you can't get off tracks in the Mario Kart Tour. So, they'd have to get hit by the tornado if they were in the path of it. Well, do we know how big or, like, the size of it? Like, of I think it covers, off? like, um... Because if it's, like... I don't think it's small. I think it's big, like really big. And you get three of them. Well, is this coming from assumptions or like, like this is from assumptions? Like video of it. There's, I don't think any videos of this information. There's very little information at all about what these items do. Damn. So, from assumptions, I'm ranking it above the green shell. I think that's a good spot to put it. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, we now have triple black shells. We know what the black shell does. It's a green shell that goes kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> at least with this, though. At least with this, though. I'd say it's better than the green shell, because you can throw three different shells that blow up. So I would put it one tier above, or one spot above the green shell. Yeah, the black shell is just basically, uh, if a green shell wants to become a suicide bomber. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the 9-11 shell. That's a fun thing to talk about. Five day <laughs> That's literally fun five days after the 9-11 uh, anniversary. Okay, that's funny. You think we're able to make, like, a, a part two? A part two? Yeah, um, because I want to go take a shower. All right, let's cover the smoke, uh, the triple smoke screen, and then we're gonna end it. All right, then, and then we can continue with this like tomorrow. Yeah, or oh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Next time we can. The player uses the player yeah. to fill this item backwards as the item starts to make smoke around the lane. Where did we rank this before? We ranked it horribly. Okay, triple smoke screen. Throw the item behind you, and just put. I'm just gonna put it above. The smoke screen and behind the blooper because like you're just getting blinded slightly it's and you have it three times so it's not really yeah, that good like yeah. yeah so that's all we only have about maybe like 60 items left 60. yeah we have a lot of items i underestimate oh, how many oh, items oh. we have because we have the the end, well, we still have special items for this game, as, as well as the normal items for the next two Mario Kart games. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> At least we don't have to cover VR, because VR introduces no new items. Yeah, Mario Kart yeah. was in VR as an arcade game. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. We cover it, because this will no longer be a trilogy, this will now be a quadrilogy. Alright, see ya.